uh, best paper award for uh, 3D cadaster. I hope it works. If it doesn't, I will just announce it. But I think you can see my screen, right? Um, in full screen. You see it in edit mode. Yeah. Everything that happens to all the presenters, of course, happened to me also. Okay, now it's here. Do you see it now? Yes, it's perfect. Thank you, Vu. So the best paper award for FIG 3D Cadastro 2021 workshop, according to the reviewers' comments and scores based on the extended abstract um, that has been reviewed in 3D Cadastro, goes to the paper towards design and development of a beam-based 3D property formation process by Ying San, Jesper Pask, Jenny Paulson, Vine Notarandi, and Lars Harry. Congratulations. And uh, Yin, if you are here, it would be nice if you can open your camera and microphone, even the whole uh, team, just to congratulate you, even like that. I can see Jesper in the audience. Only Jesper? No. Hello, Yin. Hey, hello. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> In real life, we could uh, give you the certificate. Yeah. Say congratulations to you and the whole team. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. I, I, can, I can just address a bit of the comments from the reviewers also to give to the audience that uh, could not participate and saw your presentation. Of course, the yeah. presentation, the video, the slides, and the full paper would be online at our um website so um, your paper scored uh, first uh, i would like to say that the second one was from the team where abdullah kara was the first author and the third one from the team that uh, behna matazadeh was the first author so congratulations also to those two teams and uh, for your paper uh, if we want to highlight like two or three uh, things would be like um that your paper addressed, addresses the international character of the research. So exactly the reviewers say that uh, the topic perfectly matches the conference by presenting novel approach proposed for the 3D species cadastral system uh, that can be also interesting for many participants. So even if the paper is focused only on uh, the improvement of the digital Swedish cadastral, this could be useful for other countries. And uh, it was also very interesting that uh, many beam relevant tools uh, have been presented. Uh, yeah, I would like to say congratulations. Good luck to the research. Jesper, hello. It's nice that you're also here. And, Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, good job. Very good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe now Deborah can uh, announce the um, award for uh, 3D Geo Info. Thank you. Thank you, FTFS. Yes. All right. So we're going to see um, <laughs> the technology here. Um, so it's been an extraordinary process. Uh, and we just so appreciate everybody uh, coming and their hard work. And as I, a token of that, and I know everybody was looking forward to coming to New York, so we thought we'd bring a little New York to you. So this was a, um, a design that the committee put together, and we, we, we sweated over this for about three months so long that uh, we ran into a little bit of a supply chain problem, and so we don't have the physical rewards yet. Um, they're still in production, but they'll be sent out very soon. So uh, I'm gonna make some topic awards, some of our sponsor awards, and then our um, best extended abstract and our outstanding paper awards. So I'm gonna be pretty quick, um, so stay tuned. Uh, and we're not gonna unfortunately let any of the speakers up on the stage. So uh, our outstanding paper award in the area of data creation and management is to the paper contribution of bathymetric multi-beam sonar and laser scanners and 3D modeling and estimation of siltation of dam, basin, and Morocco. So congratulations to Murad, 
uh, Fadua and Fadwa. So well done, guys. Uh, our outstanding paper on data integration and information fusion is for the paper towards limiting semantic data loss in 4D urban data semantic graph generation. And this goes to Diego, John, Sylvie, and Giles. So well done. Uh, our next outstanding paper awards in the area of 3D processing and visualization on the impact of level of detail in 3D city models for CFD-based wind flow simulations. And we're going to acknowledge Clara, Stelios, Ivan, and hmm, <laughs> Yen, sorry, I'm terrible with this. Um, so thank you very much. Um, our next outstanding paper awards in the area of artificial intelligence and big data using simulation data from gaming environments for training a deep learning algorithm on 3D point clouds. Uh, and this is from Steven and, and is it Jorge? Jorge. So uh, we have an outstanding paper award in the area of 3D city modeling. This is for the paper modeling changes, stakeholders, and their relations in semantic 3D city models. And this goes to Sun and to Thomas. So well done. Uh, we now have uh, our Final topic one, uh, outstanding papers in BIM, digital twin, and smart infrastructure. This is an IFC-centric vegetation modeling for BIM. Uh, and this is a, a very mixed group from Singapore, and I, I'm not even going to try. So thank you very much. There's obviously a huge amount of effort that went into this paper. And so congratulations on getting this big award. Um, and oh, sorry, and we have our outstanding BIM to GIS uh, award on IFC Terrain, a free and open source tool to convert digital terrain models to open BIM industry foundation classes. And this goes to Christian, Marcus, Tim, and Enrico. Uh, we now have our sponsor awards. So the awards from Lux Modus on outstanding paper and 3D modeling goes to the city 3D city lure modeling 3D land use regulations to support issuing a planning permit. And this goes to Saeed, uh, Yarthins, and Davood. So well done. Our next sponsor award is from Oracle. Uh, this is the outstanding paper award in LiDAR data storage, a parallel algorithm for local point density index computation of large point clouds. Um, and this goes to my collaborators, uh, Vu, Shamin, uh, An, and Michaela. So uh, well done. Our last of our sponsor awards is from Esri, and it's an outstanding paper award in 3D data management knowledge graph construction for subsurface objects, including uncertainty and time variation. And this goes to Ashley, Jazz, uh, and Mitra. So congratulations. And I should have said that we sent all, because there were so many conflicts of interest with all of the organizing committee, we did send these out for external review. So, so well done, everybody. Uh, and now for our two big awards, uh, the Outstanding Abstract Award uh, on Building Roof Vectorization with PPG Net goes to Simon, Stefan, and Martine. Well done. Um, and, and it brings us to the very end of the awards, uh, which is this year being held in honor of Martin Eisenberg. In our very last planning stages of this conference, we learned of Martin's untimely death. He was a long-standing member of the 3D GeoInfo community. And many had the opportunity and privilege to meet with him and hear him speak when 3D Geo was last held in person in Singapore in 2019. Martin was a pioneer in the field and there are few of us whose work has not been touched and benefited from the contributions he made. His outspoken advocacy for open data, his creation of last tools, last zip, and pulse waves have forged pathways for so many to partake meaningfully with LiDAR data. In addition to his brilliance, Martin was someone who was personally generous with his time, his expertise, and his praise. Finally, Martin was deeply committed to environmental conservation. So I think he would have been pleased in the way in which we are honoring him today as part of this conference, as neither of the con if neither of the honors have a carbon footprint. <laughs> Firstly, uh, the 2021 3D Geo Info e proceedings in the form of both ISPRS annals and the ISPRS archives have been dedicated to him. 
And secondly, in this virtual conference, the Outstanding Paper Award will carry his name. To make the presentation of this award, I would like to introduce Professor Jack Snowink, uh, who is a professor of computer science at UNC Chapel Hill and was Martin's doctoral supervisor. Thank you very much, Deborah. Um, and I really appreciate this, this chance to, uh, to honor Martin for his contributions to this community and to, to so many of us. Um, Martin was always alive to possibilities and, and uh, you know, when, when I'm looking back, I, I saw, you know, he and I moved to uh, UNC Chapel Hill in 1999, just in front of some hurricanes that caused them to fly the whole state with LIDAR. It was supposed to be a two-year project. He finished his PhD in 2004 and the data was just becoming available. And the work he had done in his PhD on compression led to the ideas of streaming that he worked out. Uh, we worked out together with uh, Jonathan Chuchak uh, uh, further in ways that turned into LAS tools just when this LiDAR data was becoming available. And Martin, with his drive and his energy, was able to use that um, that data to, to just demonstrate how using laptops instead of supercomputers, people could have access to, to this data. And so his drive to make data accessible, his drive for the environment, all of these things, yeah, he definitely would have appreciated uh, these aspects of the, this honor. And I and his family uh, appreciate this honor of naming the Outstanding Paper Award for Martin. Uh, Jonathan just recently posted his uh, uh, obituary uh, memoriam. Uh, for those of you who want to know more about the beginning of LAS tools and why um, his rapid lasso um, uh, uh, as well as his love for travel, and uh, which many of you have experienced, and his generosity and his helpfulness. Uh, I don't want to take all the time talking about Martin, but I know he would have enjoyed the, this uh, paper that is getting the Best Paper Award. Uh, Deborah, thank you. Uh, so Erzwo or Ezra Che, uh, Andrew uh, Sunoglos, and Michael Olson. Uh, this I attended uh, Ezra or Ezra. Ezra's being kind to the to the non Mandarin speakers. Um, uh, I, I attended this this presentation uh, as well as several others, uh, and really enjoyed uh, you know this exploration of getting the information out of the lidar. In, and I'm, I'm sure Martin would have had comments about how to do this, and uh, uh, you know and is the kind of person who would go away, you know, talk to you and, and say, how can I build this uh, into th these things and make it make uh, the tools uh, better for you? Uh, definitely would have enjoyed it. Uh, Erzwo, um, I, I think you're available. And I think uh, um, Deborah said that it's OK if we let you up to receive the award. Uh, Ezra, if you'd like to join me, uh, please go ahead. Um, Hi, Jack. On, on behalf of uh, uh, 3D Geo Info and in Martin Eisenberg's name, I uh, present you with the uh, Best Paper Award for 3D Geo Info, uh, the virtual edition. The uh, the plaque is in the mail. <laughs> or the, yes, so this is for VSmog, a versatile, smooth segment-based ground filter for point clouds via multi-scale voxelization. And uh, very, very good presentation uh, of, uh, of excellent work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's, a, it's a great honor to receive an award named after Martin. Um, it's, a, it's a great man, and it's a tremendous loss for our entire field. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you and also um, appreciate everything he has yeah. done. Yeah, Martin. Martin had problems with bipolar disorder. That you know, sort of. There are a couple of times in 2010 and now again in 2021 where he wound up being separated from the people who loved and cared for him, and sort of spiraled off. And and that's what ultimately took him from from us. Uh, sadly, uh, reach out to the people that you know and you know tell them that they're valued. Um, uh, that this is, uh, you know, this is uh, we 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 this is a loss. But go out and do good work because you know, that was that was something that the discovery of new things and then the sharing of new things was something that he, that he valued uh, as well. Uh, 
Thank you um, uh, for the uh, opportunity to do this. Congratulations once again to the three authors of the best paper. Um, Vu, uh, is, um, if you would come join for closing remarks. Yep, thank you. So before um, giving my closing remark, um, may I ask that um, <clears throat> just like a um, an act to remember and honor Martin, and particularly like, um, as we all know that he's a an advocate for environmental conservation. Um, may I ask my colleague in the US, please keep the uh, the trophy given to myself and um, <clears throat> and my co-authors. Um, I think that uh, Martin would be pleased to know that we could cut a little bit of uh, the carbon footprint for shipping the trophy from the US to um, Europe. I have to say that I love the trophy, but uh, the next time I'm in the States, I can come over to collect it if I'm, I'm around, um, if it's still around. <clears throat> so um, let me share my screen. Um, with my closing remark. Yeah, I hope you can see my screen now. So good morning, good afternoon, good, good um, evening, everyone again. Um, so the 11 keynote speeches, three panel discussions with 80 poster and paper presentations we have seen during the past three days have provided our community with a great picture of the latest development in the field of 3D geoinformation and 3D cadastres. After 16 years, 3D geoinfo continues to serve as a prominent international forum for voices across the academic, commercial and public sectors. And uh, this year, we are very happy to welcome the uh, participation from more than 200 attendees from 40 countries in Africa, in Asia, in Australia, in Europe, in North and South America. And this map shows where we are on from. Not being able to gather in person due to the COVID pandemic this year has become an opportunity for us to grow the community to almost the entire world. And I hope to see the map growing in the years to come and perhaps to also cover Antarctica. So to conclude the main part of uh, 3D2 and 4 2021, I would like to thank each and every one of you. Without you, there's no conference. And thank you to uh, Professor Dapper Lafer for the tremendous work you put in to make the event happen during this um, extraordinary time. And thank you, Peter Gmouch, uh, for the amazing assistance you provided. And thanks also go to our technical organizing committee and scientific advisory board and to our colleague in 3D Cadastros committee. We are grateful to our sponsors, um, S3, Oracle, um, the ISPRS, the OGC, Luxmodus, One Spatial, GeoConnexon, GIS Resources, and the Journal of Geodetic Science. And last but not least, I would like to appreciate the contribution from our keynote um, uh, to speak speakers, uh, from panelists and all speakers. Um, the world is richer with perspectives that you share uh, at this conference. And with that, I would want to um, pass that to Afika to give a closing remarks uh, for 3D cadastres. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of uh, the organizing committee of 3D cadastres, so Professor Peter Van Ostrom and Professor Alias Abdulrahman, I would like first of all to thank uh, all of you who participated at this conference no matter the day or the time or the internet connection, you made it happen. Uh, first of all, by your participation here, but also from the hard work that uh, even in, during those uh, circumstances, uh, you have been and we all have been quite productive. And this is a good result from the conference that tends today. I will share my screen because uh, apart from uh, uh, the thank yous that we would like to give also in our program committee, uh, the local organizing committee, a big thank you to Deborah, Vu, and Peter from 3D Geo Info and the whole um, team that we were meeting uh, each Wednesday. I think from now on, 
your Wednesday evenings would be much less uh, busier. And uh, yes, so 3D Cadastro um, uh, finished uh, the seventh um, session this year. Uh, following this um, workshop, a special issue of uh, land use policy uh, will come after. So selected authors, selected papers from those that have been accepted and presented in the conference here will be invited by the guest uh, editors. The guest editors of the special issue would be the co-chairs of uh, this workshop. So Professor Peter Van Osteron, Professor Elias Abdurrahman and myself, plus Assistant Professor Mila Koeva from the University of Twente. And uh, by 12 uh, of November, um, all the authors will be notified having a deadline the 1st of um, April, so April full next year. And uh, we can say that uh, this was the last uh, FIG 3D Cadastro workshop that uh, has been held, so the seventh one. Uh, we are not quitting, no, we're just um, upgrading, let's say. So to be in line with uh, ISO 19152, the Land Administration Domain Model, from now on, uh, we will be held uh, the FIG 3D Land Administration Workshop, but we will keep uh, counting from where we are now to keep the history and the versioning of uh, all the workshops that um, have been held till today. So we do have another conference coming up uh, in about uh, two years from now in Sweden. It is really nice that uh, we already know where we will be hosted. And uh, we also have something else coming uh, sooner, I would say. So the 10th FIG workshop on land administration domain, domain model will be held in about six months from now in Croatia. And the deadline for that is coming quite soon. So by the end of November, you can find more at uh, the ISO site. Um, those were some announcements that we would like to make uh, as a sneak peek of what it is coming as uh, the next day. But we would like to thank you all for participating. It's really nice to see so many people, even via the screen. I really wish to all of us that this is the last um, conference that we see each other via Zoom, Remo, or whatever it is called. And uh, supposedly now we would be outside at New York having some drinks and uh, really being very happy with uh, the end of this conference. I still believe we are very happy now. It was a successful one. We can see, as we said, that uh, sometimes we were more than uh, 100 participants. We had plenty of keynote speakers. We had very good chairs that did a very good job by managing all the people and the technical issues that arise from time to time remotely. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you yeah. so much. And again, thank you all the organizing committee from 3 dj Info for this collaboration. Yeah, thank you, Afika. And um, Professor Chucks and um, Pouliot, just, um, just share with us an, a great idea. Can everyone um, turn on your camera? Um, to be on stage with us. And I figure, could you please stop share screen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I have a few housekeeping items before we conclude as well. So everyone, uh, please just join us on the stage. Yes. Yeah, so while we are doing that, um, I have a few housekeeping items. So first of all, all, all presentations have been recorded and will be shared with the participants um, next week. Uh, the second item, uh, our conference proceedings uh, have been up online for both uh, 3D uh, GeoInfo and 3D Cadastras. Uh, you can find the proceeding of 3D GeoInfo on our webpage. Uh, the third item, tomorrow we will have a series of workshops on the Zoom teleconferencing platform. So it's, yeah, not Remo, uh, that's Zoom. And the schedule and the Zoom links are on our website. Um, I'm going to post it here in the chat. Um, and I hope to see you again in the in future 3D Geo Info conferences. <clears throat> we haven't decided a host for 2020, but um, the very hot news that uh, Professor Thomas Cope um, 
has expressed its interest in uh, hosting 3D Geo Info 2023, um, probably in, in, in Germany. Would you be, would you please like have a few words about that before we, we conclude? Yes, I can do so. But I think the next conference still needs to be checked um, the next year. But uh, uh, since next year was too early now for me to 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 uh, uh, to go for, um, actually, I think we would be willing to do it. And if everybody else in, in, in a group of organizers can agree, we uh, um, we can uh, go for 3G Info 2023 in Munich. And we will try to organize it in a way that it's next to the Oktoberfest so that people who want to stay um, uh, can then also visit the Oktoberfest. However, um, accommodation rates will, will rocket after uh, it, during that time. So uh, it, that's uh, also something to know. But nevertheless, so thank yeah. you very much to all of you and to the team for organizing this. Let me just tell you this maybe as, as a representative of this or club of organizers, I would say, uh, of earlier 3D Geo conferences. It has been really a fantastic event. And it, it, all the difficulties managing such a remote uh, event uh, have been addressed really uh, great. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, for all participants, uh, you will be notified by email about the date and time for 2022 uh, and also our plan for 3D Geo Info 2023. So good morning. Bye. Bye. Bye bye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye.